Basically, we recommend window constructions when inserting windows. These elements are also predefined if you start the window tool using the corresponding button. Start inserting a window and move the mouse over your floor plan. As soon as a wall is detected under your cursor, you get a preview of the window along with some measurements. You can either insert the window immediately and then edit its properties, or open the window dialog via the context menu beforehand. In this way, you could also use different window types in one operation. Simply open the dialog via the context menu, select, set and insert a different type from the catalog if required. Or you can select the window with the correct casement division directly in our catalog, and insert it using drag and drop. An advantage of window constructions is that you can freely change the dimensions without distorting the 3D window. The software rebuilds the window with every change, from the dimensions and profile settings. In case of windows with multiple casements, you usually see a dimension line in our preview sketch. A click on this dimension directly activates the input field for the width or height within the window construction. In this way you could achieve an asymmetrical window division. You can also calculate in our numerical input fields, inserting formulas for example. So if you enter 2.01 meters divided by 2 for the casement in this example and update the field with the tap key, the software calculates the correct value itself. The software builds frames and bars from so-called profiles. There are usually three of them, for the window frame, the casement frame and the bars. If you want to change the profiles, first select the profile and change the width, for example, you can create bars for each window casement in our dialog. Select the casement with your mouse and open the bar dialog via the context menu. In most cases the catalog is used for bars, in which a number of the most common bar arrangements are predefined. Usually there are multiple windows with the same properties in a project. So it makes sense to define only one of them and then copy it afterwards. This is done via the clipboard, either via context menu or directly with the key combinations. As usual in Windows applications, If you want to change the material of windows, use the material catalog for colors. Simply select the desired material and drag it onto the window frame in 3D. The materials of a window can be transferred to the other windows with the transfer properties function. Here is another example with a window with two grid dimensions, 